First of all, have a look at the time. It's now three o'clock. We are going to do a temperature test of heating up the hot box. Right now, if you look up at the top, the temperature inside the box is about 28.7 degrees C. Um, everything is off other than the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the bed. Sorry. I'm gonna heat up the bed to 130. Okay, to 131. It's gonna take a little while for the bed to heat. We're gonna see how much time it's gonna to take to get this hot box up to 40 degrees. So right now the bed is reading 28 degrees, just like the box. And it's starting to heat up now. We'll come back in a couple of minutes and see once that it gets up to uh, 130 degrees, how hot it is. And then we'll check back uh, in a half an hour, an hour to see how long it takes us to get up to 40 degrees. It's 3.13, 13 minutes have passed. And you can see our bed temperature has gotten up to heat. We're at 131 degrees, uh, which I set the bed for, didn't reach 130. And in those 13 minutes, our enclosure is already up to 36.9 degrees C in 13 minutes. Um, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes to get up to 40 and we'll see how much time it takes and come back to it. Okay, it's now 319, let's call it 320. Uh, the machine's been heating up at a 130 degree bed temperature, no hot end. Uh, it's past 19 minutes and the enclosure is now above 40 degrees, 40.6 degrees Celsius. So in 19 minutes of time without any external heaters, just using the hot bed, we're able to get a really nice temperature. You really don't have to print at 40 degrees, even a constant 30 is good enough most of the time to do ABS and other high-end filaments. But just to show you the power of the insulation of this box, we can get to a nice toasty temperature even at that time. It feels cool on the outside. It's really hard to feel any heat through either the window or the sides. But that bed is 130. Thank you.